and welcome to this very special conversation with Carl Mahoney. He's the head, in fact, the general manager and vice president, Asia Pacific of Honeywell Building Solutions. Honeywell is deploying solutions to make buildings smart, more productive, and more green. How are they doing this in India, and how are they actually capturing the market? Let's get some insights from Carl. Carl, thank you very much for speaking to CNBC. My first question would be, you've been coming to India for 10 years, you tell me? That's right. That's All right. Good. So, has it been an exciting journey? Oh, it's been an amazing journey. If I contrast uh, what I see today mm -hmm. with ev everything that's happening with smart cities and smart buildings to what was happening 10 years ago, it's uh, exponential growth. And uh, now the size of the project's the large com complex facilities that are being deployed in India, they are world class and uh, it, it's... So place uh, India uh, in the entire Asia Pacific portfolio that you hold, would you say that you're moving a little bit faster or a little bit slower than what has already been deployed elsewhere in building solutions? I think India is actually leading the way. If I look at the smart cities vision, it's probably one of the largest and uh, most complex programs that I'm seeing deployed anywhere in the world and very exciting that we're able to play a small part of that mm -hmm. in here. Yeah. All right. So, so coming to smart cities, of course, there's so much excitement around our smart city mission, 100 smart cities, and you said there's so much business to be done there. Uh, run us through some of the smart city solutions that Honeywell has already provided, and uh, what do they really do for the citizens? Thanks, Manisha. That uh, started really as safe cities with deployment of surveillance and the establishment of control rooms in the cities. Mm -hmm. And now with smart cities, we can build on that infrastructure and add traffic management parking management, e-governance systems. There's no end of what we can do now to, to build on that infrastructure and make these cities smarter for the residents. Where have you done these? Bhubaneswar, I do know that. Mm -hmm. yep. Any and other cities that you've already MP, done we've it? we've deployed safe cities there. We're going through deployment at Rajkot and at Oric. Mm -hmm. So and quite a number of uh, cities. Of, in fact, if I look at the, the cities we've done already, about 65 cities and more than 10,000 cameras have already been deployed through these cities. All right. So is it just the safety part of it which Honeywell provides or uh, in, in a command control center which most cities are setting up, especially yep. the smart cities, or are there more pieces to that business? There, there's more pieces. We're doing the cameras, we're doing the control room and working with partners to build on additional functionality like that traffic management, like the parking, mm -hmm. like the e-governance, so it's all integrated together in a control room for the city. You, isn't it challenging to it do is. traffic management in India? <laughs> Very challenging. You don't even have anybody following lanes. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 I uh, have a lot of sympathy for the uh, the state police that run these uh, facilities. So that brings me to my next question. Whether it's building solutions or it's solutions for safety, security, traffic management, do you just take your global solutions and bring them here or there's a lot of adaptation which is required? Uh, a, a bit of both. We have global solutions and then depending on the functionality that's required, we'll do some localization and development. In fact, um, we've got 15,000 th 15, employees in, in India, oh, about 7 or 8,000 mm -hmm. engineers um, that are located here, all building products not just for India but for the world. All right. Is the competition intense because, you know, you're navigating through a central structure, a federal structure where states have their own tendering processes, you're competing with other global companies and also a lot of Indian companies yep. who, are, who are very excited about this entire rapid urbanization pace and what it uh, brings in terms of business. I, is the competition tough? A absolutely it is. So you need to always bring your best game mm -hmm. to every uh, opportunity, make sure we really understand what the requirements are of the customer and put together a proposal and hope that that's the one that uh, best meets that customer's requirements. Mm. You've been diplomatically very correct so far. Tell me what have been the challenges uh, in the last 10 years of being in India and growing Honeywell bus building solutions business in India? I <laughs> Slam us if you need to. No, call. no. Go ahead. I, I think the, the India business okay. is, is a real star in our uh, portfolio of businesses. Again, hmm. if I reflect back here, 10 years ago, it started with small, fairly straightforward 
projects and opportunities that, that we had, but from small things, big things grow, and we've developed uh, long-standing relationships with customers. We've had uh, service relationships where we've supported those systems over the long term, provided upgrades, expansions, improvements, mm -hmm. and uh, really off, off the back of that customer focus and continuing to to build on those relationships, the business has grown. So the one big aspect of having smart building solutions is that they must be future ready. You're not deploying them for two years, five years, you're actually looking at 25 years from now. Are you mapping that in your solutions? Uh, or is, is an upgrade every five years? How, how, how is that deployed? Depends on the technology mm -hmm. that's there, what the life cycle is, and that's really where we want to uh, win the right customer and serve them forever and make sure that as their requirements change, as the technology evolves, we're able to upgrade those systems, bring the latest technology, the latest functionality, and enhance the systems that they have over that, that long term of the facility or the city. So in commercial buildings, now commercial market real estate in India has been very dull, especially the residential one. But that's not the story on commercial. Commercial is growing uh, rapidly. Do you find that uh, Indian corporate clients are very open to new and the latest technologies when it comes to smart solutions? A absolutely. Uh, in fact, one of the, the largest deployments of a new offering we have this year for our commercial customers is an app you have mm -hmm. on your phone that allows you to access card access doors. You can say you're too hot or too cold. You can find your way around the facility. Um, one of the largest deployments that we've had this year since the release is actually here in, uh, in India. Really? And that's so uh, we a product called Vector. Mm. You broke a leg in India yep. uh, with the product. Yep. You want to tell so there's, us there's which city? Is it Bangalore? Uh, it, multiple sites. So it's, okay, uh, multiple it, sites. Multiple but sites. It's, it's so a customer with, with multiple sites. And that's one of the advantages. You don't need to have a card for each site that you go to. You just take your phone and uh, you go into the building because it's uh, all in the cloud. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're pre-authorised. You go in and out, use your phone, use your smartphone and uh, find your way around. And, uh, yeah, that's one of the largest uh, deployments, deployments so far. Deployments in India. You want to tell us who the client is? Ah, no, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm allowed to. <laughs> we'll probably get others coming to your door as well. All right, let's move on then to the awards per se. Third year of the award. Um, it is. Uh, you know, evolved with us. And uh, just wanted to get your sense in terms of participation. Are you happy with it? Do you see more corporates, more public institutions coming forward to participate in the awards? Well, absolutely. This is the, the third year of the award. Uh, when it began, I think we had a, a bit over 200 applicants. There was 10 award classifications. And we've more than doubled. I think we're going to have about 500 uh, participants this year in 16 award classifications. Mm -hmm. Very exciting, the, the growth just over the last couple of years. So the awards have been good for you. The business has been good for you. Coming to India for 10 years has been good for you. What has been the most exciting part of this journey personally for Carl Mahoney? Oh, per personally, I think the long relationship that I've got with the, our team and our customers on the ground, all those people that I met 10 years ago are still in the business. Are still with you? Yes. Wow. All right. Most of them are, are there. Even employees in, not leaving you? In, some some <laughs> do, but then they, they come back. <laughs> they come back. All right. And the customers that we've had long-standing customers uh, as well. So I, I think the long relationship over that time is a, a highlight for me. All right. And in terms of the country per se, food, is it the food exciting? Is, is it the city? Is it the oh, you know it is. You know it is. <laughs> the food is exciting. <laughs> it is. It? Very varied. All the different uh, cuisines around the, the, the country. No, it's uh, very good. All yeah. right. Carl Mahoney, thank you very much for speaking with us. And of course, I uh, hope you have an exciting journey. For the next 100 years in India, why just next 10? That's right. Thank you. Thank you. is the new buzzword in our daily lexicon. We are in a race to try and surround ourselves with anything smart.
smart watch that keeps track of everything inside us to the CCTV cameras that keep track of everything outside. Encompassing everything are the smart buildings that we live and work in. The Honeywell Smart Building Awards is an endeavor to recognize such buildings. Buildings that are safer, greener and more productive. One building exemplifying smart is Omkar 1973 in Worthy, Mumbai from Omkar Realtors and Developers. It won the award for the smartest residential luxury building at the Honeywell Smart Building Awards 2017. Omkar 1973, you know, the vision from our directors was very clear from the day one when we came to the design board that we're going to make a building which is uh, luxury and, you know, secure and it is intended for global citizens because today's customer has traveled all around the globe so they wanted to create a landmark which is more secure, which is more smarter and it gives that touch and feel impact to the you know occupants staying there so we have translated that vision of the company into reality now the builders have ensured that Omkar 1973 fits the definition of a smart building perfectly by being safer greener and more productive than other residential buildings well, smart building is not about only the building envelope or the construction material. It's all about the equipment it is installed inside and, you know, how responsive the equipment is. With the help of uh, building management system, we have integrated all the equipment to become more responsive and interactive with the operator of the building. Getting into an apartment at the Omkar 1973 would involve getting into a smart pod to access the lift. We have got destination control for all our vertical transportation which are elevators, high speed elevators and at the reception at the entrance lobby we have installed a visitor management system. So every visitor who is entering into this building and is not an occupant has to be pre-registered by the occupant so that we can have a secure and a smooth access to the of the visitor to the respective floors. Uh, so we have used most of the solutions we have used from Honeywell. Added security access to the apartments is with RFID cards issued to residents. This is a RFID card, you know, so this card is pre-programmed and uh, for, to maintain the seamless security, you know, we have uh, programmed it so that the occupant staying on a particular floor will be able to go to that floor. Once he uh, bring that car to the proximity of the destination control module. It gives the elevator selection to him and the elevator is programmed to go to that particular floor only. All back of the house and front of the house areas are access controlled and monitored through CCTV. All building occupants have access to amenities through access control systems. All apartments are fitted with video door phones which also serve as wind sensors warning occupants to close doors and windows in case of strong winds. To make the building fire safe, smart gadgets and appliances have been installed in the building besides other fire rated materials for fire safety. The building has a fire command room which is manned 24 by 7. Looking at the statistics uh, around the globe, you know, most of the fire they start from the electrical system. So we have specially taken care of the electrical system. This uh, building uh, is connected, you know, all the floors are connected with the bus duct system. And wherever the equipments are uh, connected with the cables, we have used LSZH cable, which is low smoke, zero halogen cables, and they are fire rated. So even if there is a fire, they are going to survive the temperature for two hours and then if they burn also, they will not produce any toxic gases. Another feature what we have installed is an incident command station where if in case of fire uh, and before going to the location of the fire, the fire officer or, or the engineer of the building can 
go to that incident command uh, interactive screen installed in the BMS room and check what is the condition of that area, how much smoke is there and what is the intensity of the flames if it's, you know, burning. Among the many green features integrated into the building is the centralized cooling system that ensures energy efficiency owing to the water-cooled VRVs, a first in the country. The air conditioning of this building is uh, with the highest energy efficiency. It's water-cooled VRVs, what we have used first time in India for a residential building. So it gives the advantage of having less energy for a required tonnage and it is uh, having a diversity where it can go from 10 to 120 percent of the air conditioning requirement. Smart in-room water leakage detection systems have also been installed which detect leakage and send signals to the smart device of the chief engineer of the building who can then take remedial measures. The critical equipment installed at Omkar 1973 is integrated with the building management system. This is also manned 24 by 7 by the facility managers to monitor the building and envisage any maintenance required. Most of the smart solutions at Omkar 1973 were provided by Honeywell. If you are looking for a partner in performance who can give us all the solutions for a smart building, you know, uh, right from CCTV to video door phones to, you know, uh, building management system and a visitor management system. So that's how Honeywell came into the picture because most of the solution inside this building is, you know, provided by Honeywell and uh, we are happy with the systems and the way they are operating. These solutions have ensured that the residents of Omkar 1973 live the smart life every day. From smart residential to smart commercial, Pratham Infratech is a Delhi-based infrastructure company into developing commercial spaces. The company has recently started foraying into the development of smarter and greener projects. Nowadays, we are developing a net energy building. Net energy building, building means there is no use of electricity, water supply, as well as waste from the outside. We are uh, utilizing or you can say recirculating our own waste from uh, within the building, our own water within the building and energy we are generating from our internal sources. Pratham Infratech is aiming to make their upcoming projects even smarter by including technologies and processes that are safer, greener and more productive. We are using building management system uh, which is being utilized, being, which is being installed for the better management of the efficient, um, better management of the air conditioning system, lighting system, and we are using uh, high, uh, technically very sound CCTV system, which is uh, can say uh, very perfect monitoring of the building, and then uh, the, for the life and safety of the building, latest modern uh, smoke detection system and other smart building system. Nowadays, people uh, are also, think, we are also thinking about monitoring the building, not only on the BMS, uh, but on the mobile app also, through the mobile app also. Honeywell is a very pioneer in this uh, industry and very, you can say they have, they have their own, their, their forte is the smart building. They, uh, we are using lots of Honeywell uh, equipment, gadgets to monitor these type of building. Developers like Pratham Infratech give us hope that spaces we use for work and play in the future will surely be smart.